Hi friends, in this session, we will understand how financial statement version is prepared. My suggestion is the financial statement version should be in the format of the reporting entity. Suppose if the reporting entity discloses financial statements as per schedule three, then it is good to configure the financial statement version as per schedule three. Suppose if the reporting entity's financial statements to be reported as per ind AS, then the configuration has to be done as per ind AS. If we follow this, then it becomes easy job for the accounts person, whoever reports on periodical basis, maybe monthly or quarterly, to their management in no time. Once all entries are completed, then he can just draw down the financial statements from SAP with one T code F.01. So let us, in the today's session, I have taken financial statements as per schedule three, that is issued by the Companies Act. Okay. So I have kept open the guidance note issued by Institute of Chartered Accountants of India so that I will just follow this format and configure SAP financial statement version. So for that, we have to go to SPRO, SAP reference IMG, then financial accounting new, general lecture accounting, periodic processing, here document, then define financial statement version. Click on this. Here, there are various formats which are already developed. Now, we will create new, our own financial statement version, new entries. So, I will say financial statement version ZFS2. My company name is Aura of Knowledge. So, I am saying in short form AOK financial statement version as per schedule three. Okay. Maintain language English chart of accounts Z A O K. Okay. Our chart of accounts and group account numbers are not same, so I am not taking this. So I'm proceeding further. Okay, I have saved. I will create one new request. New financial statement version schedule three. Okay, now this is the basic notes which are given by the SAP. So we will use these notes to create our own version. Now, for example, this financial statement notes. So we will double click on this. We will say financial statement notes. Okay, we will save this. This is for notes purposes, not assigned. This we will say any GL which we have not assigned, then this is kept here, not assigned GLs. Now, what I will do, I will create a, uh, I will not touch this right now. What I will do, I will create as per schedule three. Okay, now this is the format, right? So first, first equities and liabilities are there. Okay, this is the main heading, equities and liabilities under that shareholder, shareholder funds. Okay. First, what I will do, I will, uh, so this is already their equity and liabilities. So I will 
take this as a main node equity and liabilities equity and liabilities then under this i will create share capital reserves and surplus okay share capital first i will create share capital create items okay under equity and liabilities i am creating a share capital after that i am creating reserves and surplus then see money received against a share warrants money received against share warrants okay this is there under equity and uh, liability shareholder funds under shareholder funds okay actually it is under shareholder funds so what i will do i will not do it here it is under shareholder funds i will say shareholder Funds. First, I will do this shareholder funds. Okay. Now it has come, shareholders funds has come here. Under this, I will create items, share capital. Reserves and surplus. Money received against share warrants. Fine. It has come under this, all these items. Now, same way shareholder funds we need uh, share application money pending allotment this is at the same level it has to come under same level so i will create here under this i will create that is share application money pending allotment Fine. Only thing is this is gone up and this has come down. Okay, they, they both are under the same uh, category. Okay, we can uh, move this up. So you select this and click on this and move this above subordinate so it will move up fine now shareholder fund then share application money it has come next non-current liabilities we have to create under same uh, uh, category not under share application, it is under equity. So click on that and create. This is non-current liabilities. Fine. Now this also we have to, again these two we have to select and move it. There. This also, let me select this also. One minute, I will unselect it. First, I will select this. Then, I will select this. Okay, now these two, I will move here. A subordinate. Okay. Now, again, share application money pending allotment. It has come first. So let me select this and move under this as subordinate. 
Fine. So we are in the same order. Okay. Non current assets. See, it will take little time, but it is very helpful when you do it. Okay. Now, under non current liabilities, you have long term borrowings. So click here, create items under non current liabilities, long term borrowings. Deferred tax liabilities net. See, follow the same format. It is the standard format which is present. So, other long term liabilities. Next, what is long term provisions? Fine. Then let us see further. Okay, next it is current liabilities. So you can write it here anyway, it is given the option. No need to go again. Okay, current liabilities. No, uh, we will do it step by step. Okay, now under non current, these are all things have come. Fine. Now I have to create. Another head called current liabilities, right? So I will I will create item. Okay, let it uh, create. This will be little more easy. Current liabilities. I will tell you current liabilities. See, actually it has to be created under equity and liabilities, but I am creating under non-current liabilities. Then I will move it. Now, this current liabilities, I want to move it with the same level of non-current liabilities. Okay, so I have selected this and I am moving here. I will say same level. Okay, now this has come here, right? Now it is fine, rather doing so much of Regularly, this is more easy. Now, under current liabilities, I have further short term borrowings, trade payables. Okay. So, short term borrowings, first I will create short term borrowings. Next, trade payables. Here also what I will do, I will say MSME, non-MSME, MSME, non-MSME, first is MSME, micro, yeah, next is non-MSME, then we will move it under trade payable, then other current liabilities, fine, then short term provisions, Fine. Now I will create it. But I wanted this MSME under trade payables, not in level with trade payables. Okay. So I will select this, use this selection option and move, uh, click on current liabilities. Sorry, not current liability, trade payable and move this with subordinate. Then it will come under trade payable. Same way, select this and click on this trade payable and move this as subordinate okay but we, if you need msme first is msme then other than msme then you can just select this and sorry select this and move it as subordinate, then this will go on top and that will come interchange. Fine. Now we are done with liabilities. You understand? See, your liability side is come now. Now you can do it with assets. Fine. Equity is there here, assets. Now we will go to assets. In assets, first one is 
नॉन करंट एसेट्स हियर विल राइट एसेट्स वी विल डबल क्लिक एंड वी विल से एसेट्स एंड नेक्स्ट we will create under assets non current assets create non current assets see we can continue creating then we can move whichever is convenient or you can do what you can do first non current assets main headings you create current assets only there are two headings non current assets and current assets so i am creating both the things at a time now it has come now under non current assets i will create the line items what are the line items under non current assets property plant and equipment i will just i can copy paste here rather wasting time in typing fine i copy ppe first one is ppe then this is sub headings of non current assets so i will come back to it again first i will go to non current investments fine copy paste next deferred tax assets net then i am doing it long term loans and advances fine then other current non current assets fine then now non current assets have come now under pro ppe property plant and equipment i need these sub headings right so i will go here create items fine and i will take this sub heads then intangible assets next capital progress capital working progress this row non current assets next intangible assets fine it has come good now next we will see what are other sub headings see uh in under property in non current investments in non current investments uh, we have non current assets under development okay this is under development complete word it's okay now next item is non current investments okay non current investments it is there deferred tax is separate uh, this thing fine okay now come into current assets these all are under non current assets only in pro 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 property plant and equipment there are further breakdown so we had uh, taken this okay now under current assets we have few items to be created okay that is current investment inventories current investments inventories next cash and trade receivables next cash and cash equivalents short term loans and advances other current assets fine that's it okay now our liabilities are over our assets are over then what we have to do we have to assign the accounts to each of the these respective this thing fine if i uh, assign the uh, accounts say for example my uh, uh, trade payables is there msme if i will go click on msme i will select the uh, msme company code aura 
okay whatever msme liability is there that is if you see trade payable msme we have a trade receivable trade payable where it is trade payable msme non msme this is msme so select trade payable msme account and select debit credit and click so this whatever balance uh, available in this particular gl will be reported under this format under msme so same way non msme assign account go to f4 go to chart of accounts either through company code or, or chart of accounts of uh, aura then select trade payable non msme trade payable non msme where it is trade receivable Uh, trade payable on MSME. Okay. Then select debit, credit, then tip. Like that, if you complete all the assignment of uh, assignment of accounts, then once you go to uh, you go to save this. Okay, new financial statement schedule three. Once you go to F.1, uh, once you complete this activity and go to F.1, then your trial balance comes in the same format of your schedule three so after this you have to do for profit and loss account also then your yeah, profit and loss account and uh, assets and liabilities are readily available for you and it will be easy to report and there is a drill down option so uh, any details required any grouping required you can go to drill down option and uh, those gls can be taken out and uh, be reported okay thank you